Hi guys, Crystal here from Homemaking on the Homestead and today I'm going to share with you my first ever laundry stripping, trying to make my whites whiter again little journey. So stay tuned and I will show you what I did and what my thoughts were at the end, okay? So I have a set of washcloths and I will show those to you. These aren't all of them, some are in the wash right now, but I have these white ones with the little green stripes on it and then the solid green ones. And uh, I just didn't like the way the fact that the white ones always seemed to be dingy and it just seemed like no matter what I did, short of maybe putting bleach in there with them, I could not get them to be nice and white again. And once they got wet, they would even look more gray and dingy. So I looked up a little bit on the internet and I'm going to have to say I only did a little bit of research. Maybe I should have done more. Um, there was a comment made about it when on a past video. So I just kind of went with that and decided that what I was going to do with these is to boil them. My thought at first was just to boil them as is, but you know how it is sometimes when you... Um, you know, you take them out of the wash, the dryer, they smell fine, but then once you get them wet, they start to not smell that great. And so I thought, well, I know boiling can help with that problem. I should also say that with my washcloths, every single day I pull out a new one. I'm always rinsing. I always hang them over uh, a pole to dry at night. Uh, so they never sit and get damp and moldy or anything like that. So um, what I ended up doing was filling a pan with some hot water. And I pulled out my rags. So I had at that time one that was pretty darn gray looking. I had some other ones that were, and the gray one was one that I had already used. The other ones were clean, uh, fresh washcloth, dishcloths, and I decided that for the heck of it I'd throw one of the green ones in there to see what would happen. I also took one of my little towels that I used for my uh, substitute on paper towels and I ended up throwing that into the water as well. Now in the water I decided to add some uh, washing soda and a little bit of borax. My husband had found a box that didn't have a lot in it and he put it in that container. So that's why it's in that container. I added about a half a cup of each of those to my water. I stirred it around until they had dissolved. Now, when I went back after the process, of course, and to look and see uh, what measurements and uh, you know I should be using, I found that I probably used way too much. But that is what I did and at that point then I put my washcloths in as soon as it had come to a boil and I put all those into my pot. I ended up having to add a little bit of extra water to it just simply because I didn't have enough to begin with. And I kind of stirred them and submerged them into the water and at that point, I decided to take out a little bit of the water after it had been sitting in there. I guess my I, the idea was is I wanted to be able to show the progression of what the water looked like. And so after it had been just submerged and sitting for a bit, after it had come to a boil, and I noticeably saw the water get a whole lot darker. And that alone was a little bit disturbing, you know what I mean? So I continued that progression over a course of about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes in total that I let the um, washcloths just kind of simmer away in that water. And uh, and I could not believe the, the change in, the, in what the water looked like. It quickly got quite yucky, you know, considering I was putting in um, clean washcloths to begin with that I just couldn't believe how, how yucky it had started to look. I just let it sit there. I turned off the heat, let it sit for a while until it had cooled off. So I do want to, to mention that afterwards, I'm always great at doing things afterwards, right? Uh, afterwards, I um, went in and kind of researched a little bit more because I was just 
totally shocked by the way at the very end which you'll see here in a minute how my what my water looked like it was terrible so the number one thing that everybody says that I seem to have missed the first time around is don't put colored things in uh, because the dyes could run with the washing soda and the borax so I do believe that a lot of the unattractive yucky looking color probably came from the dye from having thrown in one of my green washcloths because in the end that washcloth ended up looking a lot more faded than the rest of them so once my washcloths had cooled off enough I um, plugged my sink because I wanted to have a, a visual of this yucky water and I dumped my pot into the sink with the washcloths and as you can see by looking at the video footage I took of that, it is just terrible uh, how awful dirty they look. Like I said, I, I, I think it w there would have definitely been something there anyway, some, you know, gray, brownish water anyway. But I also believe that the problem was the green washcloth that I put in there. So at that point, I went ahead and... Uh, rinsed them all with cold water and wrung them out really good and so I made sure that I had rinsed them very very well uh, and then decided I would go ahead and just run them in the wash machine with a regular load of laundry. I did not have any OxyClean which as you can see, I have now purchased. <laughs> so I just used my regular laundry soap, which is all free and clear. And I ran the load just like normal. I had also thrown in some other uh, dish towels that I had that needed to be washed at the same time. So after they washed and dried, I folded them. Um, I am showing you what it looked like at that point. I was not very impressed. I mean, I thought they looked a little bit better. I could definitely tell that my green one had faded, um, but I really didn't think that they were like, you know, I, I guess I was kind of hoping that they'd be like, Whoa, you know, all of a sudden I have white towels again, uh, because that's been something I really would have been trying to achieve uh, for a while. And so after all of that, my towels just were like mediocre. They, a little improvement, I guess mentally I knew they were cleaner since I got all that gunk out of them, but but they weren't um, they weren't nice and white. So that began my next quest. Is okay. Uh, I don't usually buy OxyClean, not for any particular reason. As long as I feel like my detergent is doing the job it should do, I'm you know I'm okay with that. And uh, and I always I didn't feel like my colors looked like they were fading. I didn't feel. Uh, like, you know, other than my dishcloths, the rest of my whites seemed like they were okay. So, uh, but I went ahead for this and went and bought myself some OxyClean. The OxyClean that I picked out was the White Revive. Throw in not just the OxyClean, but the White Revive OxyClean to really you know, give it that burst that I was looking for. So I threw a scoop of that into my washer along with uh, my regular uh, laundry detergent. And by that time it had been a little over a week and I still had, I had more dish towels that had accumulated. So, and some of my little towels for, that I used for uh, paper towels and my cloth napkins. So I just threw everything in there and ran it another load again. Once those all came out of the dryer, I folded them all up and, you know, I at that point I could kind of see that, yes, they did look, they did look better. Um, again, was it that, you know, that great difference in contrast? I really, I really wasn't sure that I was seeing that at that point. So I kind of just held them under the camera so that uh, basically at the end what my plan is was to do is to get the pictures of the dish towels before, after my first attempt, and then finally the second attempt, and see if I could notice a big difference. So once I made that graphic, I will now show you because here is what I saw from that. I don't know. I don't know about you, but 
I am having a hard time really saying that, oh yes, I can see a huge difference. It looks, you know, drastically different after doing all that. I mean, you would think that there would be um, maybe a little more difference. Maybe I'm expecting too much. I don't know. The other thing is, is because this was my first time doing this, did I do something incorrectly? If you have done things like this to get your whites whiter and had great success, tell me what you did and tell me if I did anything in my process along the way that, you know, wasn't, uh, I could have done better. I could have, you know, done it a different way or added something or I don't know what, tell me, tell me if you have any experience with this because it's definitely something that I have been wanting to figure out for a while now. And maybe I just need to, you know, continue to wash them with the OxyClean and see if over time that helps revive the whites a little bit better. That was today's video, is my little laundry stripping, whitening, cleaning attempt. Did I think it, it was amazing? Well, I thought the amount of gunk I got out of it was pretty amazing. Um, it does make me wonder about my clothes. Now, I have an HE machine, and I... You know, I know I've brought up lots of things on laundry in the past, but I'm not a real fan of HE machines, uh, whether they're top loaders or front loaders. Uh, if you know, it'd probably be better if I could go back to just the, you know, the old-fashioned um, uh, laundry m machines with the agitator in the center. I, I never felt like I was always struggling with these kinds of problems. So. In any case, that is today's video, like I said, and uh, let me know what you think. Let me know your experiences. Let me know the stuff that you do to make your whites white. That I would really like to know down, down in the comments. Leave me a comment and let me know. All right, you guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.